I know, you like to get it on, but so do all other primates. Let's talk about some of the different mating systems we see in primates. When we want to talk about primate mating systems, the first thing to remember is that mating is different than social organization. We might see the entire group act in one way, but how mating actually happens might happen in another. For this lecture, we are specifically talking about mating structure. There are a couple different systems we see within primates. First, remember that sex is a biological category and gender is a social identity. When we're talking about other primates, we're really not talking about gender at all because they probably don't have that concept. There are a couple of words that will help you better understand the alphabet soup we're about to talk about. Gin, or G-Y-N, that refers to females. Ander refers to males. So when you see those parts of words, that will give you a clue about what's going on. Monogamy, that's one marriage, one male, one female. Polygyny, or many females, so that's a one male, multiple female system. Polyandry, that's multiple males, but one female. Polygynandry, well, that's just multiple males and multiple females. So let's talk about these one by one. First, we have monogamy. So this is the classic one male, one female, and we have pair bonded groups. You can see lifetime monogamy, also serial monogamy. Serial monogamy is you only have one partner, but you may have different partners at different points in times. There are some evidence of extra pair copulations or cheating, um, but overall, this is a rare system in primates. Some people argue that gibbons are monogamous, but other researchers argue that gibbons are not actually good examples of monogamous creatures. The best example for monogamy in primates is TD monkeys. TD monkeys are new world monkeys and they do the most adorable thing of they twine their tail with their partner um, to show their affection for each other. And in experiments, they do actually show signs of distress when we separate bonded pairs. Many people think humans are monogamous, but honestly, there's not that great evidence for it. Let's talk about polygyny. Remember, we have many females, polygyny, and one male. Um, here, we see it's just common in a lot of mammals, and here we have it in gorillas and hamadryas baboons. These species specifically has female defense polygyny. We have one male actively defending a group of females. That is his group. Um, we can also see a different form of polygyny where it's dispersed matings. We see this in orangutans and galagos. So we might have a bunch of females that have, you know, small groups that are next to each other. And one male will have a, um, a home range that uh, just goes across several different females. So these species are mostly solitary, but in their mating system, they will have one male interacting with multiple females. Now let's talk about polyandry. This is different than what we see in most mammals. So here we have one female, but many males. We see this in marmosets and tamarins, and there may actually be an other adult females in the group, but we see reproduction suppre reproductive suppression of the non-dominant female. What happens in these species is the females generally give birth to twins. And these guys are super small. Those babies are really big compared to mom. And that is a lot of work. So actually having multiple males, specifically two, is very helpful because each dad can take one baby and then mom is free to eat as much as she can so she has enough um, milk so she can lactate both babies. Next, we have polygynandry. Remember, this is many males, many females. You might also hear this called promiscuous mating, but that's a pretty loaded term, and I suggest avoiding that one. Here we see this as macaques and bonobos, and we just have many males mating with many females, and we see a lot of sperm competition in these species. We can also see fission fusion groups, which is a special case of polygynandry. Um, here we have chimpanzees and spider monkeys. They have one pretty large consistent group, but their subgroups might be constantly changing. In a couple species, we have something really cool called a multi-level society. So here at the top, we have a troop, then we have individual bands within that, 
Within a band, we have a clan, and within clans, we might have multiple OMUs or one male units. Um, I just showed a few here, but within each clan, there are probably multiple one male units. In these multi-level societies, there are really complex interactions. We see these in baboons, geladas, and snub-nosed monkeys. So, what are the different types of primate systems? What's the mating system of your favorite primate?